Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Makai Muse. Today I'll be showing you a Christmas look that I did for work. Um, I work off tips, so I was trying to be extra and make some extra money for Christmas. I'll be starting with the Fit Me Medium Deep. Um, pat that into my eyebrows, like always. Then brush out my brows in the direction that they grow. Get a sticky note concealer and the NYX brow gel and put it on the sticky note. Drag your brush along the brow gel and then just fill in your brows in any gaps or areas you wanna fill. Take your time if you're not used to doing this so that you can create a good shape if anything, you'll be able to fix something with concealer, but you won't need a lot of product because sometimes you can go back and just brush it and it'll fill in those other areas and buffer it out. Then just conceal, perfect the edges of your brows. You're pretty much just making your desired shape. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Like I said, I start from the back of my brows and I work my way to the front. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. Then you're just gonna clean up the top a little bit. Then to make sure your brows are even, drag from the brow that you start with from the front of that brow to the front of the other brow so that you know they are in the same space. One is not higher than the other. Uh, I use creamy beige of lighter shade for my eyelid as a primer before I use my eyeshadow. Then you're just gonna do similar motions to how you do your foundation. You're gonna pat it in. And I use the James Morphe palette, those three green and yellow shades, and then the red and orange shade. I started with the yellow up under my brow bone. Blended that out with like a little angled brush. Then I use this fluffy brush and use that um, like orange, or no, this is the green, the gr light green shade. And I blended it out. Then I took like a thicker brush to get that dark green shade on the lid. Then I'm going back in with the lighter green shade to make sure it looks blended. I changed the brush to something more softer so the blending looked more seamless and I'm pretty much just gonna be going back in with like each of the colors making sure none of them got missed out um, I didn't want too much of the yellow to pop out I just really wanted it to blend well with the green you're gonna do the same thing on the other eye but instead use an orange shade first so that it can blend out well with the red Then I'm going to take that orange red shade and blend it into my crease. Then the darkest red with this Morphe brush, I'm putting all over my lid until I have the desired pigmentation. And like I said, I'm just switching back and forth between colors to make sure none of them got left out and that it's blended out pretty good. Then I'm gonna start cutting my crease. You start in the inner corner of your eye and drag it out along the crease of your eye. I show it better on the red eye 
I do like little dots leading up to your crease. So then you just follow the lines, which may be easier for beginners. Just take your time and then should be your desired look. If you feel like you want to go higher and it's not showing more, then you can do the same thing and just keep repeating it until you get as high as you want. And I'm going to take this brush and my Trophy Wife highlighter and put that all over where I just put concealer. And on the end, you just blend it out a bit so it blends well with the green. Then do the same thing to the red eye. And I'm going in with my Super Stay foundation and blending that out. That motion is actually called stippling, so you're just going to stipple, I guess, that shading. Then the Fit Me foundation powder, I'm going to pack that in on my skin all over where I put the foundation. Then take the leftover concealer from my eyebrows and add the lighter shade that I had left over from my lid. And then blend it out with your beauty blender. I don't put extra on my nose or my forehead or around my mouth. I just use whatever is left on the beauty blender. Then you're going to set that with the Fit Me Medium Deep that we started with your brows. All over where you put the concealer. up under your contour and then you're going to contour with the black radiance contour palette patting it in is a little bit easier than blending it if you're not sure where you're putting it so I tried it both ways and then you're just going to dust off all the excess powder and make sure that your contour and your highlight is all blended seamlessly. Spray some dewy setting spray on top of it so that you don't look dry. And I seen someone put highlighter on while their face was still wet, so I wanted to try it. And I actually love the outcome, so I'm probably gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna go back in with that darkest red shade and just put it up under my eye and do the same with the darkest green shade and put it up under the red eye. Then lashes, using the dual lash glue. I'm gonna apply the lash in the center and then work on securing the front and the back of the lash down afterwards. And do the same to your other eye. And I'm lining my lips with this NYX. It looks like a brown, but it's more like a dark purple color. And then I'm using this MAC Red Lipstick. I'm just going to make for a little ombre. And then set my face with the Ben Nye setting spray. And we're all set. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see anything else. And yeah, bye. Like, share, comment, subscribe.